this section uh, we will discuss how MP BGP works into the uh, Cisco ACI fabric. So you can see uh, in the diagram uh, we have our devices. So uh, we have the spine switches on the top and we have three leaf switches, leaf one, uh, leaf two and leaf three. On leaf three we have uh, the layer three out or we can say that leaf three is our border leaf. So it is our border leaf which is connected to the outside wall and it is connected to R1 which is uh, outside the ACA fabric. And in our example, we are uh, having VRF red. On the top, uh, you can see here that we are having a BGP AS number, which is 57391. And we have the VRF Vinit, which is 123456 for the VRF red that we are running into our network. And uh, the same VRF, VRF red, uh, we are using into our L3 out in this example. So now let's uh, talk about the MP BGP and how it works. So in BGP, uh, the IPv4, uh, the address family is deployed on all the leaf switches on uh, the border leaf and the non border leaf. So when we are creating the L3 out, so by default, uh, you can see here the BGP IPv4 or V6, depending upon uh, whichever uh, we are using. The ad IPv4 or IPv6 address family will be automatically uh, deployed by the fabric into the user VRF on all the leaf switches, including the border leaf and non-border leaf. So this, uh, this IPv4, or V6 address family will be deployed into all the user VRF on all of our leaf switches. So here also you can see we have IPv4 or V6 address family. Now also the VPN V4 or V6 address family will be also deployed on the leaf switches plus the spine switches. So you can see here, we will also be having the VPN V4 or V6 address family. Here also VPN V4 or V6 address family. And likewise, we will be having the address family on border leaf also. So VPN, V4, or V6 address family. And the same uh, address family will be on spine switches as well. So VPN, V4, or V6 address family. And the main difference between the uh, IPv4 address family and VPN, V4 address family in uh, this example is that the IPv4 address family is within the red or the user VRF. However, this VPN V4 family between our fabric or between our devices, all this is into the infra VRF or the overlay one VRF. So all our VPN V4 or V6 address family will be into this particular VRF. Now let's see how the uh, routes are advertised using the MPBGP. So when let's say in our example, we are uh, having the OSPF, you can see here we have the OSPF uh, between the border leaf and router one. So, because when we are creating the L3 out, so this BGP IPv4 address family is automatically uh, deployed. So when it is deployed, an automatic, I'm just writing it here, a route map 
for redistribution will be created. Okay. For the routing protocol that uh, we are running, for example, in our case, we are running OSPF. So once we are creating this L3 out and this protocol is deployed, then an automatic route map will be created on the border leaf to redistribute the route from OSPF to the BGP IPv4 address family. Okay. And this redistribution is called the interleak. Interleak. So it means that when you are deploying a routing protocol on the border leaf, automatically uh, the redistribution will be done into the from the protocol that you are deploying to the uh, BGP IPv4 uh, address family. And uh, you can uh, think that if we are running, let's say, a BGP here instead of OSPF, then uh, the redistribution is not required. Right, because in that case, uh, the BGP process of the L3 out and the infra MP BGP, that's the same. Now the redistributed uh, IPv4 routes will be exported from the user VRF to the overlay one VRF. Because you can see when uh, this redistribution is done, then our routes are present into the IPv4 table. Right, right. Now, these routes from this IPv4 uh, table, they will be exported to this VPN v4 address family or the VPN v4 table of the border leaf. Now, border leaf, because as we know that uh, we discussed in our previous section as well that our leaf switches are going to uh, form neighborship with the spine switches only. Correct. So now, leaf three or the border leaf is going to send uh, these particular routes which are exported into the VPN v4 table to the spine switches. So one of the spine switches will receive uh, these routes, let's say spine to receive uh, the routes into the VPN v4 table, right? Via border leaf, then it is going to send uh, this particular information to the rest of the neighbors or to let's say leaf one and leaf two also, but these routes will be sent into which table? That is the VPN v4 table, right? So leaf one and leaf two now received uh, the routes via spine into the VPN v4 table. So now on, the, on each leaf switches, the BGP IPv4 has export and import rules, okay, by the route target to exchange the routes. So now the leaf switches are going to import the routes from VPN v4 table to the IPv4 or the user VRF. So all the leaf switches, they use the same route target value including the uh, border leaf also. So the route target value uh, will be the AS number. In our case, it's 57391 colon the VRF we need. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the route target that all the leaf switches are going to use. So when uh, leaf three uh, imported the route from the IPv4, uh, table to the uh, VPN v4 table. So this particular RT will be used. So when let's say a leaf one received the routes into the VPN v4 table, now it needs to export the routes into IPv4 table. Now, because you can see that all the leaves which they are using the same RT value. So automatically these particular routes will be imported into the red VRF or the user VRF. Okay. So this is the RT, which is in the form of uh, the ACI BGPS number and the VRF we need. It means that all the leaf switches, they will be having the same RT for a particular VRF. And uh, when a border leaf export the IPv4 or the external routes into the VPN v4 address family with this particular RT, 
then each user VRF on the other lips, which is they can import the VPN v4 routes from its uh, own VRF into the IPv4 table. And now in this way, you can see that if uh, the border leaf, it has some uh, different uh, VRF, so it will be having a different RT because each VRF will be having a different uh, VNet, right? So that is why there will be no mistake on the leaf switches to import some uh, routes from other VRF. So that is why we will be having this uh, particular design for the RT. It is the BGPS and then the VRF in it. So this is how the routes from outside will be imported or how the um, MP BGP works into Cisco ACI. Now let's also uh, see quickly uh, whatever we have written in our slides also. Yes. Let's go into the presentation mode. So now you can see here that, uh, let me minimize it. So in our first uh, <clears throat> section, you can see here that the BGP IPv4 or V6 address family is deployed on all the leaf switches, border and the non border leaf switches in all user VRF that we discussed. So we'll see, we'll go through all the steps and we'll see uh, whatever we have discussed a few minutes back. We also discussed uh, the second point that the BGP VPN V4 or V6 address family is also deployed on all the leaf switches plus the route reflector or the spine switches. <clears throat> and this particular uh, address family or the VPN V4 address family, it will be deployed into the overlay VRF or the infra VRF, right? This this is what we discussed that the IPv4 BGP address family will be deployed on the on the leaf switches and that will be only into the user VRF. However, the uh, VPN V4 address family will be deployed on leaf plus the route reflectors or the spine, but that will be deployed into the overlay VRF or the infra VRF. All the leaf switches you can see we mentioned two points here. So all the leaf switches establish IP uh, BGP or the sorry the IBGP sessions with the route reflectors or the spine switches, and that will be done into the infra VRF or the overlay one VRF. And uh, all the leaf switches exchange their VPN V4 routes through the route reflector spines that we already discussed, right? So. Point number three, so once the layer three out is deployed on the leaf switch, the BGP IPv4 or V6 address family on the same border leaf automatically creates a redistribution rule for all the routes from the routing protocol of the L3 out within the same user VR that we discussed, right? Which is called the interleak. So let's say you um, uh, deployed EIJRP or OSPF on the border leaf to the outside uh, network. So when you deployed it, automatically there will be a route map uh, created on the border leaf to redistribute that uh, the external routes into the uh, IPv4 address family of the BGP that was automatically created into the user VRF. And uh, as we said that if you are using BGP, then uh, there is no redistribution required because the uh, BGP process of the L3 out and the infra MP BGP, that is the same thing. Then these redistributed IPv4 routes will be exported uh, from the user VRF to the overlay one VRF, right? Because the automatic redistribution is done and because of that, the routes will be into the user VRF or the BGP IPv4 address family. Now these routes will be exported to the overlay one VRF. And once they are exported, they will be having the, or they will be known as uh, the uh, VPN V4 routes, right? And the RT values uh, that will be used for that will be the BGPS number, uh, the or you can say that the RT value will be the combination of BGPS number of the ACI fabric plus the VRF unit. Now in the point number five, you can see that the, we have the spine switches or the route reflector. The job of route reflector is to distribute the routes, right? 
So spines uh, are going to send the routes received from the leaf, uh, border leaf to all the rest of the switches or the rest of the leaf switches. Then all the leaf switches, they are going to receive those routes into the VPN v4 or v6 table. Then these routes will be imported into the user VRF as IPv4, correct? And that we also discussed that uh, we are using the same RT value on all the leaf switches. That is why there will not be any problem to import those routes. So on uh, point number seven, we explained that. So you can see here on each leaf. So the BGP IPv4 or V6 address family has export and import rules with the route target to exchange the routes between our VRFs, right? So the route target is in the form of BGPS number and VRF win it. So this point that we discussed, we explained here. So this is how the uh, MPBGP works into the Cisco ACI. This was all about the MPBGP into Cisco ACI. In our next section, we will discuss about the interface profile into the L3 out. So till then, uh, keep learning and uh, thanks for watching.